toilet bowl is the spillway that feeds in from the Rudai Reservoir into the Frying Pan River. It's located east of Basalt, Colorado, and it's home to some of the best trout waters in all of Colorado. The Frying Pan River flows into Basalt, Colorado. I had a lot of luck fishing there. We fished on spinners and even like crankbaits using a spinner reel and were able to catch plenty of trout. However, for the most part, the fish that were biting on most baits tended to be smaller. And you also have to grapple with the fact that a lot of the waterway across the lower Frying Pan River is private property. So you can really only put in at certain points along the river. And these are usually pretty busy with other fishermen. And so for that reason, we're gonna focus on the toilet bowl as the main topic of this video. The toilet bowl is a very deep pool of water that feeds off the bottom of the Rudai Dam and as you might expect of gold medal waters, it's absolutely filled with massive trout. You can do a quick google search and see that a lot of people there have caught a lot of trophy trout throughout the years. I stuck my camera under the water right off the bank to see what kind of trout we were dealing with there and right away you can see at least six good sized trout right off the bank at any given time which I think that just speaks to the density of trout and the volume of massive trout hanging out in the toilet bowl. With this in mind, the toilet bowl seems like an obvious place for a fisherman to go if he's in the area. It's filled with huge trout, it's in gold medal waters, and the trout are relatively stationary there. However, as you can see from this time lapse, me and my dad spent a good hour there fishing without catching a single thing. We were throwing spinners, we were throwing nymphs, kind of bigger flies, and we couldn't figure out why we weren't catching them. After spending a lot of time at the toilet bowl and trying all kinds of lures, we weren't having any luck. So we asked around and a couple fishermen there keyed us in that mice and shrimp have a huge population in this area and that's why you see these massive trout that are just kind of lingering there. They feed down through the spillway and just get filtered through the toilet bowl and that's why all these trout are hanging around. There you go. Once we found out that mice and shrimp flies were the most effective baits to use, we headed back to Basalt into the local bait shops and picked up some mice and shrimp flies. Now there's two primary ways you can rig these up. Both of them include a nine foot leader line and split shots. For the first one, we put a nine foot leader line on, put about five or six split shots at the bottom of it for weight, and then added a mice and shrimp three foot above the split shots and then another mice and shrimp three foot above that one. With these two, mice and shrimp floating through the water did a good job to replicate how they naturally feed through the toilet bowl. The other way is very similar, however, it has the split shots at the top of the lure. Once we were rigged up like this, we started having a lot more luck. It didn't take long to get the first bite, and the trout we were catching, for the most part, were good size. The guys next to us caught an absolutely massive trout, but for the most part, the one we were catching were decently sized. I think if you're in the Colorado area doing some trout fishing, the toilet bowl is worth stopping by. If you just don't have a lot of time, you don't really need a whole lot of gear, you can just go fish right off the bank. It's just important to make sure you have the right bait, otherwise you're going to sit there and not catch anything. Overall, with the right bait, it's a quick and easy way to catch trophy trout without having to spend a load of money on equipment.